Today I will be introducing and instructing you how to install the IcePure UTR400A reverse osmosis filtration system. IcePure was established in 2000. It has been developing products in the water treatment industry for 20 years. It has sold over 200 million pieces of various filters and served over 70 million American households. Let's take a look at the accessories first. Remove the system housing from the box and take out all the accessories. This is the reverse osmosis filtration system. This is the PPC sediment filter that combines PP uh, sediment filtration and activated carbon block. This is the RO filter. The blue tubing is 3 8 inch inlet water tubing with a feed water adapter. The white quarter inch tubing is for pure water. The red quarter inch tubing is for waste water. This is the manual. All of the remaining accessories are in the accessory box. Let's see what's inside. A smart faucet. All of the accessories from the box are on the table. We have a drain saddle, tube cutter, Teflon tape, quick connect fitting, quick connect release tool, two adapters, six lock clips and a power adapter. Let's take a look at the tools that you may need during installation. A variable speed drill, a drill bit, a quarter inch for the waistline and an inch for the faucet, a towel, an adjustable wrench or pliers, a screwdriver and a flashlight. Okay, let's begin our installation. First find a suitable place to install your RO system. Keep it away from walls or heat sources. It's intended for cold water only. First, you need to check the measurements of your water inlet valve under your kitchen cabinet. Normally, most sizes are 3 8 inch or a half inch FIP. For the half inch FIP inlet valve, please use the two adapters supplied in the accessories box. For the 3 8 inch inlet valve, you do not need to use any extra adapters. Next, we need to install the feed water adapter. There is a gasket. Keep in mind not to lose it. First, you need to close the inlet water valve. Keep the main faucets turned on. Put a towel under the inlet valve to catch any dripping water. Disconnect the faucet hose from the water inlet. If it's a 3 8 inch inlet valve, connect the feed water adapter with the gasket. Tighten it with a wrench. Connect the faucet hose to the feed water adapter and tighten it up. If you have a half inch outlet valve, you need these two converters with the gaskets. Connect the half inch FIP to the 3 8 compression on the inlet water valve and tighten it with an adjustable wrench. And connect the feed water adapter to the converter and tighten it with an adjustable wrench. Connect the 3 8 compression to half inch FIP to the water adapter. Tighten it with an adjustable wrench. Connect the faucet hose to the 3 8 compression to half inch FIP. Tighten it with an adjustable wrench. Now install the drain saddle. Find a convenient spot on the drain pipe to install the drain saddle, better vertically. Drill a quarter inch 
hole on that spot of the pipe. Do not break the other side of the pipe. Stick the foam seal on the front plate. Pay attention to the location of the hole. Insert the red wastewater tubing about 0.6 inches into the hole. Insert the tubing into the drilled hole and secure the back plate to the front plate by inserting the screws. Tighten the screws. Pop the lock clip on the fitting to secure the connection. Now let's install the RO Smart Faucet. Drill a suitable hole about 1.02 inches in the countertop or in the sink for installation. If there is a suitable hole in the sink, this step can be skipped. The hole is usually 0.6 inches near the edge of the sink so that the faucet can cover the inside and outside of the sink when it is rotated. Insert the faucet stem and power cord into the hole. Install the faucet just like this. Insert the quick connect fitting onto the faucet stem. Find the white quarter inch pure water tubing and connect it to, into the quick connector. Secure them into place with the two blue lock clips. Check that the tubing has been correctly installed by pulling on the connection, confirming that the pipe cannot be pulled out. Now let's see how the pipes are going to be connected. This is a very user-friendly design, just has three steps. You need to remember white to white, blue to blue and red to red. Compared with other products on the market, you can get everything done without paying much attention to complicated installation steps. Fewer components reduce the possibility of water leakage. Cut the tube to the proper length for your installation situation. How to cut the tube? Make the cutting edge perpendicular to the surface of the pipe cutter. Press the pipe cutter. Please ensure that the surface of the pipe is flat. Now connect the tubing. Install the inlet water tubing. Take the blue 3 8 inch inlet water tubing which has been connected to the feed water adapter. Insert the other end of the tubing into the inlet water port on the system. Connect the lock clip. Please pull on the tubing to create a suitable gap between the lock sleeve and the port fitting to install the lock clip. Install the wastewater tubing. Take the red quarter inch wastewater tubing which has been connected to the drain saddle. Insert the other end of the tubing into the wastewater port on the system. Lock it in place with a lock clip. Install the pure water tubing. Take the white quarter inch pure water tubing and insert one end into the pure water port on the system. Lock it in place with a lock clip. Insert the power cord which is attached to the RO faucet into the faucet connector and then tighten it. Connect the power. Insert the DC head of the power adapter into the power port at the top of the housing. Note, don't connect the power socket yet. After installation, please check whether the tubing is installed correctly. Now install the filters. First, remove the RO system cover. Each filter is marked with a logo, the PPC filter. Align the button on the top of the filter horizontally to the notch on the appliance and push the filter into it carefully. Do the same with the RO filter. 
place the cover back onto the system. Start up the system. Once you have confirmed that everything is installed correctly, you can start up the system with the following steps. Turn on the cold water supply valve and the feed adapter. Turn off your faucets and turn on your RO faucets. Plug in the power adapter and the system lights will flash alternately for 30 seconds and begin a rinse cycle. After these steps, please confirm that each connection is completed with no leakage. The filtration connection ports, the feed water adapter and the quick connect fitting. If there are any leaks, please close the cold water supply. If the feed water adapter is leaking, first use the adjustable wrench to tighten it. If it is still leaking, apply Teflon tape on the external threads. If it is leaking at the filtration system's connect ports and the quick connector fitting leak, please remove the lock clip and pipe and insert them again. Keep the RO faucet running and let it run for more or less 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, there will be an alarm sound to indicate that the flashing time is over. Please turn off the power and then turn it on again. After this, the system will be reset and can be used normally. Now we have completed the installation of the IcePure UTR400A reverse osmosis water filtration system. Indicator instruction on the system. There is a button display area on the front of the machine. The power light will stay white when the power is on. Filter life indicator. If the filter works well, the indicator should stay white. If the filter is near its expiration date, the indicator light will alternately flash red and white. If the filter has expired, the indicator light will remain red and beep 10 times continuously while producing water. Tedious display on faucet. The outer ring of the smart faucet lights up when water production is on. When the RO faucet is turned on, the faucet display shows the tedious figure of the filtered water. When the filter has reached 90% of its service life, the RO system indicator light flashes alternately in red and white and the please replace filter light on the RO faucet display flashes. When the filter has reached its service life, the RO system light will be red and the please replace filter light on the RO faucet display will always be on, almost the same as the RO system. The smart faucet. Real-time water quality display ensures that you can drink healthy and pure water every time. Reminder of replacing the filter, one less thing to worry about. High-grade waterproof and anti-leakage to ensure your household's safety. Lights up when dispensing water, which is very user-friendly. Let's take a look at how to replace this filter. Compared with other filters that need to be swapped out rotatedly, this filter is designed with one-touch technology that allows you to finish the filter replacement in seconds. You can change these filters within seconds. It is effortless and very convenient. Close the feed water adapter and remove the RO system cover. Press the button on the RO system and pull out the filter. Open the package of the new filter. Align the button on the top of the filter horizontally to the notch on the appliance and push the filter into the hole carefully. To reset the filter life indicator, hold the reset button for 3 seconds. When the PPC light flashes, press the reset button to select which filter you would like to reset. Hold the reset button for 3 seconds. The life of the PPC filter and the RO filter can be reset in the same way. You can now close the RO system cover. Turn on the feed water adapter and then turn on the RO faucet. 
Keep the RO faucet running and let it run for more or less 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, there will be an alarm sound to indicate that the flashing time is over. Please turn off the power and then turn it on again. After this, the system will be reset and can be used normally. Flush in the membrane, the pipes, and getting rid of any air bubbles that may be in the system. How to remove the PE pipe from the connector? First, remove the lock clip. Use the release tool to press the lock sleeve on the connector. Pull out the tube. We have a one year return policy guaranteed and a product lifetime warranty on every filter confirmed with defects in material and workmanship within each filter's service life. If you have any problems during installation or use, please do not hesitate to contact us. We will do our best to make sure that you are satisfied. And for more information about our products, please scan the QR code. The filtration system removes large particles and impurities such as sand and rust and removes heavy metals such as lead and mercury, microorganisms, volatile organic substances as well as inorganic substances such as pesticides and antibiotics. Enjoy pure filtered water without worries. IcePure UTR 400A reverse osmosis water filtration system is the right choice.